All right, Julie, you've convinced me. I know I need to use formulas that are written in percents and I need to keep good notes and make my formulas scalable. But I already have all these recipes that I already use. Do I have to just start over? How do I make my existing recipes into a cosmetic formula? Hi, I'm Julie Hartsfield with Heartfelt Beauty. And today we're going to talk about converting your recipes into percentages. Sometimes it's difficult if you already have a recipe, say you make a lotion and you know you do a cup and a half of water and half a cup of a hydrosol and three tablespoons of an emulsifier. And how do you, how do you turn that into percentages? So today that's what we're gonna talk about. The first step to converting your recipe into a formula written in percentages is to convert volume measurements into weighted measurements. I don't even measure in volume most things in my life, so these are probably not even very realistic measurements. But let's say we have our favorite imaginary lotion. And we have this recipe that we make all the time. And we have our water phase, which is water and glycerin. And then we have our oil phase and a preservative. So super basic. The first thing we do is to get all of our raw materials together, weigh them out. So I would take my one cup of water, measure it and weigh it onto a scale. And I did look this up so I know that it's realistic, but one cup of water equals 236.5 grams. So this column is gonna be grams and this will be percentages. So one cup of water equals 236.5 grams. Then we weigh three teaspoons of glycerin. Let's say that is 10.42 grams. Our e-wax ends up being 20 grams. One teaspoon of cetyl alcohol is, let's say that's 4.9 grams. A quarter cup of jojoba oil, we'll say is 24 grams. And half a teaspoon of preservative is 3.69 grams. I make sure at this point, record your grams at least one or two decimal points out. Keep this part as precise as possible and you will end up with the most precise conversion that you can make. Don't do any rounding when you're converting your original volume into grams. So now that we have all of that figured out, this column with the volume is no longer important to us. We're done with that. So now what we need to do is figure out how many grams our recipe is in total. So now we go to our calculator and we will add the total of all of those ingredients together. So we have 236.5 of our water, 10.42 of our glycerin, 24.9 plus 24 plus 3.69 equals 299.51. So let's record our total, 299.51. Now we have to convert these grams into percentages the like equation to figure that out. You're going to have your however many grams is divided by the total and that will equal your percentages. So let's say for the water, that means we have 236.5 grams of water divided by the total 299.51 and that equals 0.789. So 236.5 divided by our total 299.51 comes up to this big long number. The three numbers after the decimal are the most important. 
seven, eight, nine. A percentage is basically a, means the same thing as a fraction. 78% also means 78 one hundredths, which also means 0.78 with a decimal. So all of these mean the same thing. We get our total from dividing our grams by the total, and we have this 0.789. We just move our decimal point over two places to, to turn it into a percent. So that 0.789 also is the same as 78 0.9%. So at this point in your formula, if you want to keep it exact, this is what I do. I only go one decimal place over with my percentage to keep it simple. If you want to simplify it even more, like this one, I would end up just rounding it up and calling it 79%. So that's up to you. Depends on how exact you want your formulation to be. So with all of that math, we know that our water is 79% of the formula. So let's do the next one. Walk you through it one more time. We know our glycerin is 10.42 grams. So that is 10.42 divided by our total, 299.51. And that equals 0.034 move your decimal over two places and your glycerin is 3.4 percent. So pretty simple. I'm going to go through one more to just make sure that there's no questions. Go through it one more time. Our emulsifying wax, 20 grams divided by the total, 299.51 equals 0 0.066. 0 0.066. Move the decimal to the right two places, and that is 6.6%. So go through your entire formula that way, every single ingredient, and come up with your percentages. So once you have your percentages converted on your entire recipe, now we have all of these percentages calculated. Now we need to figure out the total. It should ideally all add up to 100 when you're finished, but with the rounding, sometimes it doesn't add up exactly. Add up everything in the percentage column. This comes up to 99.8%. At this point, we know that we need to add 0.2% to that formula to make it equal 100. It's going to really depend on your formula, what type of formulation it is, um, if it's an emulsion, how stable is your emulsion, and, you know, where do you have room to play with this. The first thing that I would recommend at this point when you have the percentages, look at all of your ingredients and make sure that those ingredients are within the recommendation of the, the usage guidelines for that ingredient. Because some preservatives, you know, if this was lucidal, a natural preservative, 1.2% probably won't be enough. But it, say that you were using liquid Germal Plus, the max you'd want in this formula would be 0.5%. So the first thing you do at this point before you go and adjusting this is figure out if any of your raw materials, your ingredients, are within the recommended and safe usage guidelines, the safe percentage. So let's say that I ideally, for safety, my preservative I'm using, I really need it to be 1%. I'm going to keep track over here for 99.8. We know that we need 2% added to that. For my preservative, let's say it needs to be 1%. That means... If I change this to 1, now I have another 0.2% I need to make up in my formula. Let's say everything else looks pretty good. We have to figure out where we want to make this up. We have 0.4 that we need to add to this to make this 100 because now this is actually 99.6%.
Usually, if it's something very small like that, just adding it into the water phase would make that very easy. Actually, this emulsifying wax, 6.6% for an oil phase that only, you know, has less than 10% of an oil phase in it. That's actually a lot. So, you know, let's say I'm, I'm going to change this to be 6% e-wax. That means now I also have 0.6%. That comes up to 1%. So if I need to add 1% to something, I'll add that to my water phase. So we will have 80%. So when I add all of this back up again, now this equals 100% total. And that becomes my formula. And this becomes my new cosmetic formula from volume I would not recommend making this imaginary lotion recipe though because it looks like it would be absolutely nothing special. I mean, I guess it would work, but this is not a lotion that I think that I would use and enjoy. <laughs> so now you have a cosmetic formula for your imaginary lotion recipe that is in percentages and you can scale it up or down and make any measurement that you can think of and ensure that all of your raw materials are within safe and recommended usage guidelines. Thank you so much for watching my friends. Like, comment, subscribe, share beauty, spread love. I'll see you soon.